Welcome to another episode of Flax Fishing Adventures where the beers are cold and the fish are big. Let's get into it. Got me mate Razmataz out with me today. He gets super seasick, so we couldn't go outside. He's dominating me on the scoring system at the moment. Caught a couple of little flatties and a little dewy. I've got one little flatty on board, but got a cold beer in my hand. That's the most important thing. Even come with a bit of lime. What a legend. Good work, Razmataz. The tide's just bottomed out. It's gonna be pushing in pretty soon. Old Razmataz over there pumping nippers. I got the potty trap out on my left-hand side. Let's go check the potty trap. Seem to have plenty of bait hanging around the trap. There's no bread come out yet, so there's a couple in there. Ah! <laughs> All right, well, I just dropped the fish in the water because I'm an idiot. So you can see here, this, the fish are just swimming around the trap. Um, so what I'm actually looking for is the bread coming out in big chunks. So I know there's fish in there. I know there's definitely fish in there now because they're, I can see them swimming in. But what you want to do is set your trap up sort of an inch below the water surface. So when the fish come up over the top of your trap, they just sort of naturally want to fall in to go down into it. And um, yeah, you'll end up catching heaps if you set it up at the right depth. Got to have the conditions like this, real still calm water. Nice and warm up on the flat here. Usually a run in tide is ideal. Oh, there's a couple of thumpers in there. That real big f***er there, he's going to be the perfect dewy bait. Just got our first potty, probably one of the smaller ones out of the group today. We're still catching a few potties. We're just gonna have a quick drift while we're waiting. So leave our trap out on the flat, just drift around so we can keep an eye on it. We're not gonna go too far from our trap, but just get in the boat, start doing some fishing. Kaz is on, Kaz has got the first fish for the morning. Little flatty. Kaz Mataz. First fish down. We're about probably five, 10 minutes into fishing now. Squidgy, prawn, quarter ounce jigad on a 2-0 hook. Black, black, gold flecks, orange eyes. Kaz has thrown his little fish back. It's only a little one. Oh, just underneath the boat. Oh, there's a, probably first legal fish for the morning. Not a thumper, but. Oh, now Kaz is on. Kaz has got himself a little dew fish. Look at that, two at once pretty much. I'll get Jack Kaz's Dewey off first. It's just a little sacker. Pretty little thing. He's just using a long shack hook there. Oh, what a catch. In the slips. Call me Warner. Little tiny Dewey, hey? Yeah, I'd be lucky it'd be 25 centimetres. Send this guy on his way. There he is there. Beautiful little flatty. Give him a quick measure. Just shy of 36, he's about 35. We'll send him on his way. I have to pull my finger out if we're gonna keep score because Kaz is gonna smash me if the way things are going at the moment. I have to start fishing with nippers as well. I'm gonna rig myself up a nipper rod. Otherwise, Kaz is just gonna pull away in the competition stakes, I reckon. So I'm just putting me nipper on. So I've got, got some potty mullet today some live nippers and some soft baits to use. Also got a few vibes and hard bodies and stuff like that I can throw around if I want to. So you got another little flatty. That's his third one for the morning. Uh, Any words of victory now that you're in front? <laughs> Don't want to claim the victory already? <laughs> so these potties we're running, they're really a bit big for flatheads, but this is all we could catch, so. We're gonna give him a go. Okay. Yeah, could be right. Oh, okay. mm. So that's my big potty. He's just been taken by something. 
so my big potty that I said was too big for flatties has just been taken. Pretty sure this is going to be a pretty solid flathead. Oh yeah, he's a solid flathead. He'd be sort of 70s maybe, mid 70s. All right, here we go, going for the net shot. And we got him. Oh, it's going a little bit crazy. Pretty, pretty stoked with that. You, Pretty solid fish there. I thought this second camera was going. Luckily enough, I turned this one on at least. Get him out, give you a bit of a look. Whoa. Ow. Ow. Give me a few tail slaps. There he is there. Another cracking flathead. Oh, he's just pooed on me. Pretty solid fish. Get a measure on him. I reckon he's gonna be a bit over 65. 66 on the dot. Another cracking flathead out of the Clyde system. Just produces big fish every summer for me. So that's why I keep coming back. You should come down here too. All right, we'll send this girl on her way. Beautiful big fish, deserves to live. I never keep any fish this size. They're just too, too valuable to the system. She's all fired up, ready to go. So we'll send her on her way. There she goes, swimming away nicely. So it's been pretty productive so far. We're just sort of fishing where we caught the, the potties and the nippers. Um, we've caught several fish, brim, flathead, little jewies. Um, still waiting for that target species of a whiting, but getting a few little taps now on my nipper. Hopefully I can get a, a hook up. All right, I'm on. Just tighten the drag just a little bit. Not too sure what this is going to be. You can see you hit it with a bit of speed and power there. Get this other camera rolling. It was right up on the flat. The one thing I will admit about using all these, using nippers for bait is they just catch a lot of fish. You get a lot of different species. It's a pretty solid little blackie, that one. Not sure what legal size is, but I have no doubt old Razzmatazz will want to keep that one. No, I mean, is that about right? If it's size. If it's size, we might have to have a look and see what legal size is for blackfish. He's pretty solid, pretty fat fish. I know Razzmatazz, it's one of Kaz's favorite fish to eat. I'm sure he'd be legal, this one. Let's get him in the net. There he is there. Cracking little blackie. Ludric. Ludric. Yeah, that's a nice size. He's solid Ludric. Yeah. So I reckon we probably only moved maybe 50 meters from where we were catching our bait and we've, um, what, put seven or eight, nine fish on board already. There's that black ludric right there. He'd be oh, 34, 35 centimetres. Circle hook just in the corner of his mouth like always. That's why I love these hooks. Just so easy to pop them out every time. You never harm the fish. Um, although this guy's probably going to get eaten by old Razzmatazz anyway, so he's going to get harmed for sure. We'll just give him a quick measure. Yeah. Oh. He's, we'll give him a 34. We push him to 34. He's a bit over 33. Not a bad fish. As Mataz has got another little flatty on board. Oh, he might. Oh, he, he'd be legal, I reckon. You want to give him a measure? 38. Another 38 centimetre flatty. Kaz has just not added another one to the scoreboard. So, we'll, so quick running tally. Kaz is currently on 47 and Flax on 23. But we've got to add double length of our longest fish. So I'm pretty sure at the moment I'm in front. All right, people, we've just changed locations. Our new plan of attack, it's blowing light easterly today. 
Wind's coming straight in from this way. Tide's coming in this way. We've got a big long straight behind us. We're going to fish the racks this side. Everything's pushing in towards these racks. The fish are going to be sitting down here up on these racks. So that's the plan. We'll put it into practice and see what happens. Kaz is on straight away. He's calling a 40 centimetre flatty. Step out of the way of camera a little bit. Good man. Watch that hatch in front of you. I'll get the net. Oh, oh, another little jewfish. Oh, that'll. Oh, oh what's he doing? That'll be a few points on the scoring system. Where's the, where's the big one? Where's the big one? That's right. He took deep too, unfortunately. That is the thing about. Uh, long shank hooks, sometimes they do go down deep. That's why I prefer the circle hooks. Fingers crossed we can get this one out without too much damage to the fish. Mm. Oh, he's all right. Yeah, he's, right. he's swimming away. Yes. All right, my turn now. I just downsized potties. I went to a slightly smaller potty then. You didn't see it, I didn't show you, I was, I was trying to be stealth about it. So we changed to our new spot, I downsized potties. Kaz has just thrown his little jewfish back. My potty's just exploded. Doesn't feel like a massive fish, it's just coming up at the moment. Kaz has just released his little jewfish. So there we go, the change of plan, instant results. We've both caught a fish each in the space of five minutes. We've probably drifted about 20 metres, if that. Not sure what this is going to be, but it was still a pretty solid potty. It was probably about 120 mil potty. Oh, this is going to be a big flatty, I reckon. He's just sitting down on the bottom now. He won't come up. Kaz might do me a, a favour and pass me the net from behind me. Oh, I can feel he's got the hook actually in his mouth. I can feel the line rubbing up and down on his mouth. I'm going to try and get him around the... I'll get him around here if I can. Bring him around the boat. I'm hoping he'll swim out from underneath the boat. Where's that net? Where's the net? Oh, another little Jewy. He's tangled up on someone else's line so he's a slightly bigger model still undersized of course they've got to be 70 centimeters he's probably about 44 45 maybe still good fun to catch we'll let him go circle hook was just in the corner of his mouth he'll let go real good and there he goes swimming away no problems a little whiting one of the target species for the day we haven't really caught many of them. Only tiny. We'll let that little fella go. Well, he's on to another one. Razzmatazz, the dominator. Got himself another little whiting, I reckon. Little Brimbo. That add them to the scoring board. Kaz is just dominating while he pretty much sabotaged me with his line I'm calling. Just took me out of the game for a bit so he could catch back up. Just got another one. There he is there. Probably oh, mid-30s. I don't know if he's quite legal, but 38. Might keep that one for a feed for myself. Put him in the chilli bin. So that's a smaller potty. I reckon that's just been towed up straight away. So I've just I've been hunting around the tank there for the smallest potty I could possibly find. I've just cast him out on my light gear and I feel like he's just been getting chased around straight away. So we'll just see if he hooks up here in a minute. We're gonna to have to move again real soon because we're gonna run into the oyster ropes. So those, those smaller potties are, are proving to be very valuable today. They're not catching our monster fish, but they're catching our legal keepers that we wanna eat. So that's come in handy. The nippers seem to be picking off a lot of smaller fish. All right, people, quick running tally. Kaz is on 147, 
flax on 177 out in front. A few more fish just got added there in that little drift. And we're going to go back up to that hole where we caught those two jewies straight up. Flick some of those bigger potties in there and see what's in there. So today we're fishing with wind and tide working in the same direction. So it's a really good day for those live baits and nippers and baits and stuff. Everything will just work in a nice straight line. Your live bait will sit back there slowly moving with the current, but also moving just a little bit faster than that current as well. And it just look, gives the appearance of it swimming upstream. Um, just makes it look really natural, present well. It's my preferred conditions for live baiting in the rivers, wind with current, everything's looking up, getting heaps of water flush over their gills, breathing really easy. And then you, they just see the potty just floating along, coming straight down towards them. And then they get out there and pounce on it as soon as it comes past them. So we'll keep on doing this and hopefully we get a few more fish. All right, people, so another positional change. We were just up here, maybe three, 400 metres. We've just moved back down the straight. So you can see here how I've lined up my drift. Here's the shallow flats up on here. Here's the deeper hole, and I'm just trying to line myself up just to drift along the edge of the flat. That it just enables me to cast my baits up onto the flat, and then as I drift down this way, they'll drag off the flat and into the hole, and then I'll just repeat that process, and you'll pick up fish off the top of that flat. That's the theory. See how we go. We're sort of just, just starting to creep up on top of the drop off there now so if I be careful we'll zoom in here get a better picture of what's happening so you see there's 12 foot in that bluish sort of water 13 foot 14 foot in the darker blue and then up to sixes eights nines so we're just on that uneven edge at the moment it's really the perfect spot to be I reckon we're a good one now Had a good little run before, he's just got its head turned now. Just looking for the net. Where'd the net end up? Right here. What are you calling, Raz? Uh, 50 centimetre flatty. 50 centimetre flatty. Kaz, Kaz, Kaz. Might be white right back. Oh, little Dewey. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't. Calm down, bro. Turn him. Turn him. Oh, we got him. On the nipper again, hey? There you go. The power of the nipper. Catching anything from the three centimetre brim to the 40 kilo dewy. We just haven't caught the 40 kilo one yet. Send him. Razzmatazz has got himself another fish. Give us a look at your fish, Kaz. Little flathead. All right, people, so I've just updated the scores. Kaz has had a late comeback and is sitting on 184, Flax on 177, and it's just really letting the team down at the end of the day. Hey, I need to get a fish on board. Nice big flatty or a big dewy, man, get me back in the lead. So in the search for a few points, I've just gone to the smallest body we had in there. He's only about 70 mil just to get one one undersized flatty or hopefully a legal flatty, fingers crossed, get me just back in the lead. All right, people, so the tide's just turned. It's just started running out, brings the soft bait back into play. I'm now casting with the wind and bringing it back with the current. So I'll start soft baiting again. Get that nice long cast straight downwind, and then I'm just going to work it back with the current and all the fish should start to spin around the other way and they'll start to work these flats, the bait and stuff coming off these flats after the wind's pushed it up there all day. So I've just mixed my lure selection up. I've just gone to the Fat Grub in Natural Shrimp by Rick's Fish on Plastics. I've persisted with that five inch prawn pretty much all day and it hasn't done much for me, hey? I've had very little action on it. I don't even know if I've had a hit, to be honest, so. We're gonna change spots. It's nearing the end of the day and um, yeah. We're not having much luck, so we're going to try a new new spot. We haven't fished at all today and see what happens. All right, well, we're down to those final few critical minutes. I'm still behind on the scoreboard. Really just need one legal flatty, get me back in front. Give it another, I don't know, got to give myself a deadline. We'll go to 25 past, it's 15 past now, so I've got 10 more minutes. 
Oh, I'm on. Oh, please still be on there. All right. I've hooked onto something. Last minute, last hour. I've got myself a fish. What's it going to be? Pretty sure this is on the nipper. Might be an undersized flatty. Might not be. Oh no, I've just dropped it. Oh, it... oh Kaz is into one. It's got another one. Finish the day off, another little tacker. Little flatty. Um, on. Oh, they're both on. Both me rods are on at the same Oh, Kaz has just dropped his flatty over the side. My nip is on, and I've just struck at my soft bait rod. Oh, what am I going to do? Kaz can't really help me here. This is every man for himself. That's all good. It's competition, lad. You don't want to help me. Here we go. There's me flathead in. Sort him out in a minute. Let's have a look at this. What's happening with this? Oh, that feels like a better fish. I thought that was, see what's happening with this nipper. Got my rod sitting in the way, of course. Oh, it's another little flathead. Here's two little flatties. Oh, I've got to still add Kaz's little flathead to the board. I wonder how this is all going to play out in the end. Oh, I've still got my live bait plug in. This guy's only a little tacker. Just going to lift him in. There he is, there's my second fish. Kaz got a little one before, so I'm probably not any closer to him, to be honest. There's the little guy. Um, there's a few points that won't put me in the lead. I'm sweating on this bigger one being legal. What's the time? I better make sure it's a little bit of it. Oh, it's 24 past, so I'm in by a minute. All right, let's check it out. Oh, do we? Oh, I reckon. I reckon that counts. He's over that line. There's 36. He's just over. There's his nose hard up there. Just over. I reckon that's going to count. What do you reckon, Kaz? Do you want to just suss it? He's head against the end. His head's hard up against the end. He's touching. It's not even plumb. It's leaning away. <laughs> Having said all that, we're going to let him go. It's not worth keeping something that's 50-50. Oh, no! Oh, Kaz has, Kaz has caught another fish to take out the victory. Spewing. What's the time? Oh, it's 26 past. It doesn't count. A flounder. A little flounder. Oh, well, let's, let's do the final tally. You can sort your flounder out. I haven't really caught many flounders. Maybe I should do a little bit of a flounder look. All right, oh, nice. that's officially time up on flax fishing. It's got to, we've got to go. I've got to take the kids to the carny tonight. So going to go be some bogans, eat some fairy floss, eat some popcorn, go on the Ferris wheel. Won't be doing anything too strenuous with a three-year-old and a three-month-old, but see how we go. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, comment on my videos. Um, I appreciate the feedback. If you want to see anything, let me know. I'll do the boat run through in my next video. So um that'll be coming what else i want to get outside for another session i'm sick of these river sessions i just got to get some time on my hands in the right weather conditions and like i said two young kids it's um i don't have a lot of time but thanks for watching you see you next time